Okay, hey YouTube, uh, this is Chris Price Productions. Um, I'm just making you a little video to show you how to create a, a logo uh, for YouTube using Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended. So, if we open up Photoshop, This isn't very hard at all, it's uh, quite easy to be honest. Uh, yeah, it is probably one of the easiest things to do, so. Uh, you want to go File, New, and then uh, Custom, and then uh, best is to have it like that, but uh, in full HD. But the obviously the lower you have it, the less file size it'll be. But it's only about sixty-four kilobytes my logo, and it was at that. So, uh, so you just want one nine two zero by ten eighty, which will give you the full HD thing. So the exported image quality will be very very high. And then you can leave all that. Make sure that is eight bit. Otherwise, you uh, when you come to exporting it you will not be able to um, export it as a PNG file. So, uh, yeah, you want that R RGB, and you want that, you've got to make sure that's transparent, uh, otherwise you won't be able to see through your logo. Uh, you want that square pixels, and that looks very complicated. It doesn't matter whether it's that or that. But usually you just go for that, or working RGB, because that knows it works. Uh, then you press OK. So you'll open up this transparent document, well, page. And then it, what you want to do is very simple. You want to get a text tool, add some text. So I'll make it black for the time being so you can see it. Right. Do that instead. Okay, so say I was doing Chris Price Productions. Okay, then you want to move it like to the center. It doesn't really matter to be honest, but it's usually best. And then, so if I just show you. Uh, what my watermark is. I made that out of Photoshop and it, it was pretty simple um, and it's probably one of the easiest things I've done and quickest so do that so Chris Price Productions uh, yeah and then like uh, if you want to say find Um, like a picture of a camera for for instance a video camera make sure it's transparent PNG search so I went on here last time and then the one I used was that so you want to grab that or you can use you can use any of these any of them work and then uh, you can download any of them but the best one is probably just a stage PNG and then it's there and it's so we can get rid of that, get rid of that. so then that's there so what we can do let's do this Scale it to how you want it. Tick it. 
and that's basically your logo done but if you want it to be transparent then what you want to do so for now I'm just going to put a red background behind it so I can see what I'm working with just for the time being because it is very very hard when you change it to the white colour to see what you're doing with so you want to tick it and you'll grab this, send it to the back so you can see everything that you're working on now, as you can see that looks pretty good as a logo uh, but if you want a watermark uh, then you want to select that and hold command and press that opacity you can change cha you can change this around a bit but for mine I went with an 80 percent oh wait it's these two you want not that that's just a red background and I just chose red because that's black so I can't so I can't see like if it was black I wouldn't be able to see it so 80 now you can't see much of a difference from 100 that's 0 10 20 30 40 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, but I went for about an 80% 80, 80 opacity as it works best because you don't want it too, too clear that you can't really see it. But you don't want it too bold that you can't see what's behind it. So I, I went for an 80 I've not tried that out on any of my videos yet. I'll be I'll be trying it out on this, but 60 still looks pretty good. But like I said, if you get rid of that, look, you can, you can see what I mean about it being. Let me just uh, yeah, you can see what I mean about that. But then, if you like want to ch change text color, which is what you want to do, or you can leave it like that, but. If you want it to be like properly transparent, you want it white. And that's why I put the red behind it, because you can't see what you're working with. But if you do that, then you can. Pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, so if you delete this layer, you don't want this in your final image. Delete the layer, yes. Right, now you can't really see anything, but if you remember, I told you to keep it 8-bit colours. Uh, that's important because you want to go file, save as, format. You can save it as a Photoshop file as well, so you can go back and tweak it, like whenever you feel like it, or if you feel like you're changing, go back and tweak it. That's I also did that, but uh, just to save the image, you want PNG because that will make it transparent as a background. So let's just call it logo, and you can see here. There is uh, no logo already here, so it's not already been pre-done. So, and that is why you want it 8-bit colours, because if it's any higher, then you will not be able to save as a PNG, which will not have the transparent background, so you want to make sure it's 8-bit at the start. And you want to save it. Uh, now, this doesn't really matter. If, if you're putting it on a YouTube video, then uh, just have it as none. But if you've if it's just like a small image, you don't want it as an interlaced. Interlaced is uh, just basically uh, like so the picture gets downloaded as like a smaller file, so people with a slow connection can get it quite fast, and it looks just about the same quality, but it isn't really. So you just want to stick that to none. That's what I did. Press OK, and then you can quit Photoshop. Don't save, don't save because I've already done it. Logo. And there you go, there's your logo. And then you can stick that as a watermark, however you want to stick it as a watermark to your videos. And there's your simple watermark. Now that's how you quickly make a watermark with Photoshop. Uh, but I also made a logo with, with the same thing with just a... Uh, red background behind it and I thought it looked pretty cool so that's how you do that so uh, I'm on Twitter 
YouTube, I've got Twitter, I've got YouTube, I've got Facebook. Um, so, like me on Facebook and tweet me. It'll all be in the bottom. So, thank you for watching. And I will uh, see you in the next video.